Hi everybody and welcome back to the Repair and Installation TV channel. The installation of the girder launching beam launcher assembly involves a meticulous process. Firstly, the beam launcher is assembled on the ground, ensuring all components are securely fitted. The launching is intended for a bridge with a 350 meters curve radius, and the individual girders to be launched have a span of 40 meters and weigh 120 ton unit. The bridge also has a longitudinal slope of 4% and a transverse slope of 2%. During the operation, the beam launcher is positioned on the straight section of the bridge, precisely on an 80 meter span. This placement enables the simultaneous erection of two spans, each consisting of 40 meters PCU, precast concrete units. The beam launcher, with its robust structure and advanced engineering, allows for efficient and safe installation of the girders, facilitating the construction of the bridge within the specified parameters. The completion of the Toowoomba second range crossing reached a significant milestone as the final Super T girder was delivered and installed on the viaduct at Mount Kinnich. This momentous occasion was documented through a camera, capturing the journey of the last of the 522 Super T girders from the factory to its designated location. The Toowoomba Second Range Crossing Project, led by Nexus, has been a monumental undertaking aimed at improving transportation infrastructure. The Super T girders, renowned for their strength and durability, played a crucial role in the construction of the viaduct, ensuring the stability and longevity of the bridge. With the installation of the last Super T girder, the project signifies a major step towards completion, bringing the Toowoomba Second Range Crossing closer to its intended purpose of enhancing connectivity and facilitating efficient travel in the region. The HZQ900T Full Span Beam Launcher, developed by ZZHZ, has emerged as a crucial component in China's high-speed railway projects. This innovative machine revolutionizes the installation process of full-span concrete box girders, providing a fast and convenient solution. The beam launcher is specifically designed to handle the demanding requirements of high-speed railway bridges. With its advanced engineering and cutting-edge technology, it streamlines the construction process, ensuring efficiency and precision. One of the key features of the 900T beam launcher is its ability to install full-span concrete box girders. This eliminates the need for segmental construction, reducing assembly time and enhancing overall project efficiency. By placing the entire girder in one swift motion, the beam launcher significantly accelerates the construction timeline. Moreover, the 900T beam launcher offers remarkable flexibility and adaptability. It can handle various types and sizes of concrete box girders, accommodating the specific requirements of different high-speed railway projects. This versatility ensures that the beam launcher can be utilized across a wide range of bridge designs, enhancing its value and applicability. The beam launcher also prioritizes worker safety and convenience. Equipped with advanced control systems and safety mechanisms, it minimizes risks during the installation process. Operators can manage and monitor the beam launcher's movements and operations with ease, ensuring smooth and secure installation procedures. A bridge girder launcher is a specialized construction equipment used in the construction of bridges. It is designed to efficiently and effectively launch girder segments to build the bridge superstructure. One of the methods used in bridge construction is the via span technique, where the girder launcher moves along the bridge span, allowing for continuous construction. The girder launcher, such as the JQG 200T 50 meters, is capable of launching side girders at one time. This means that multiple girders can be positioned and launched simultaneously, significantly increasing the construction speed and productivity. The JQG 200T 50 meters model is specifically designed to handle girders with a weight capacity of 200 tons and a span length of 50 meters. This enables it to handle a wide range of girder types, including T, I, and box girders.
The primary advantage of using a girder launcher is its ability to launch more than 10 pieces of girder segments per day. This high production rate is achieved due to the launcher's advanced engineering and efficient operational capabilities. By launching multiple girders simultaneously, the construction process becomes much faster and more streamlined. Furthermore, the girder launcher is capable of launching girders that extend from one span to the next. This means that the girder segments can be accurately positioned and joined together seamlessly, ensuring a smooth and continuous construction process. By eliminating the need for manual adjustment and positioning of each girder, the girder launcher reduces human error and improves construction accuracy. The VIA SPAN technique, combined with the girder launcher, offers several benefits for bridge construction projects. It enhances productivity by enabling the construction of multiple girders simultaneously, reduces construction time, and ensures precise alignment of girder segments between spans. In conclusion, the bridge girder launcher, exemplified by the JQG 200T 50 meters model, is an essential tool for efficient and rapid bridge construction. With its ability to launch side girders at one time, handle various girder types, launch more than 10 pieces per day, and enable via span construction, it significantly improves productivity and accuracy in bridge building projects. At Gamuda Garden in Rawang, an impressive feat of engineering is underway as Amman Logistic tackles the challenging task of beam launching using a sturdy girder structure. Witnessing this remarkable endeavor, one can't help but marvel at the precision and skill involved. Spanning a remarkable 63 meters in length and weighing a staggering 114 tons, these beams are no ordinary construction components. Amman Logistics team navigates the complexities of this project with unwavering expertise, demonstrating their ability to handle massive structures with finesse. The Western Highway, Anthony's Cutting Realignment Project marks a significant infrastructure development aimed at improving transportation and connectivity in the region. This ambitious endeavor involved the construction of a new 5-kilometer highway connection, located to the south of the existing route, stretching from Melton West to the eastern outskirts of Bacchus Marsh. The main objective of the Anthony's Cutting Realignment Project was to enhance traffic flow, alleviate congestion, and improve overall safety along this vital corridor. By creating a new highway connection, the project aimed to streamline the movement of vehicles, particularly between these two key locations. The construction process involved meticulous planning, engineering expertise, and coordination between various stakeholders. Extensive surveys and environmental assessments were conducted to ensure minimal disruption to the existing landscape and ecosystem. The project also prioritized safety measures, including the incorporation of advanced road design techniques, such as wider lanes, improved signage, and upgraded intersections. The Anthony's Cutting Realignment Project not only facilitates smoother travel for commuters but also contributes to the economic development of the region. The improved connectivity enhances accessibility to Bacchus Marsh, a town with a rich agricultural heritage and growing residential areas. This enhanced transportation infrastructure opens up opportunities for business expansion, tourism, and further investment in the region. Additionally, the project has the potential to reduce travel times, decrease fuel consumption, and lower carbon emissions by optimizing traffic flow. By relieving congestion on the existing Western Highway, it also contributes to a safer and more efficient transportation network.
The CIR, cold in place recycling, process involves the rejuvenation and rehabilitation of existing pavement through recycling methods. In this particular case, the CIR of a chip sealed pavement is being carried out with the incorporation of 1.25 coarse aggregate to enhance the structural integrity of the pavement. The recycling process involves the utilization of CSS1 emulsion, a type of asphalt emulsion, for binding and strengthening the recycled materials. The machinery employed for this operation includes the Workin County Route 3800 recycler, responsible for breaking down and pulverizing the existing pavement, the Weiler Windrow elevator for collecting the recycled materials, and the Vogel Vision paver, which handles the application and compaction of the recycled mixture. By incorporating the coarse aggregate and using the CIR method, the aim is to improve the durability, strength, and overall performance of the chip sealed pavement. This process provides a sustainable and cost-effective solution for rehabilitating and extending the lifespan of existing road surfaces, while also reducing the demand for new materials and minimizing waste. The addition of rock and the implementation of CIR techniques offer an innovative approach to pavement maintenance and construction, ensuring safer and more resilient roadways for the benefit of motorists and communities alike. The Vogel Super 3000-2 Road Paver is a technologically advanced machine designed for large-scale asphalt paving projects. When deployed on the A10 Berliner Ring, it showcased its exceptional capabilities and efficiency in constructing the asphalt binder and asphalt surface course with a pave width of 15.50 meters. The operation of the Vogel Super 3000-2 is highly automated and precise, thanks to its sophisticated sensor technology. Equipped with various sensors, the machine can accurately measure and control key parameters during the paving process. These sensors include a grade sensor, slope sensor, and ultrasonic sensors. The grade sensor ensures that the asphalt layer is laid at the correct height, while the slope sensor maintains the desired slope or crossfall. The ultrasonic sensors continuously monitor the material flow and thickness, allowing for precise adjustments in real-time. Furthermore, the paver is equipped with a USB sensor, which enables automatic steering. This feature allows the machine to follow the predefined alignment and steering curves with high accuracy. It ensures that the paver maintains a straight and consistent path, minimizing deviations and delivering uniform asphalt surfaces. To achieve a continuous material supply during paving, the Vogel Super 3000-2 works in conjunction with the Montana 3000-2i offset feeder. The feeder is responsible for delivering a constant stream of asphalt mix to the paver, preventing interruptions in the paving process. The integration between the paver and the feeder is seamless, with sensors on both machines communicating and coordinating the material flow. During operation, the Vogel Super 3000-2 moves forward along the construction site, steadily laying down the asphalt mix. The mix is fed into the paver's hopper, where it is distributed evenly across the entire working width. The machine's large screed, which can be hydraulically extended to match the desired paved width, ensures efficient and uniform distribution of the asphalt. The Vogel Super 3000-2 also incorporates intelligent control systems that optimize its performance and efficiency. These systems include an automatic temperature control system, which ensures that the asphalt mix is maintained at the optimal temperature for proper compaction. Additionally, the machine features an advanced leveling system that adjusts the screed height and slope automatically, resulting in a smooth and even asphalt surface. The successful implementation of the Vogel Super 3000-2 on the A10 Berliner Ring project was facilitated by its impressive size and capabilities. As the largest paver in the world, it offers a high level of productivity and can handle large volumes of asphalt mix, making it suitable for demanding construction projects. ERC chip seal is a commonly used road maintenance technique that combines the application of an asphalt emulsion with the placement of small aggregate chips. 
This process helps to protect and extend the life of road surfaces by providing a durable and cost-effective solution for road preservation. With the combination of CRS-2P, cationic rapid setting, asphalt emulsion and 3 8 inch low-volume chips, ERC chip seal offers enhanced performance and longevity. The first component of ERC chip seal is the CRS-2P asphalt emulsion. This cationic rapid setting emulsion is designed to provide a quick cure time, allowing for faster traffic reopening and reducing the disruption to road users. CRS-2P emulsion consists of asphalt binder, water, and an emulsifying agent. It is applied to the road surface using specialized equipment, such as a distributor truck, which evenly sprays the emulsion over the designated area. Following the application of the CRS-2P emulsion, the second component of ERC chip seal is the placement of 3 8 inch low-volume chips. These chips are typically made from a durable material such as crushed gravel or aggregate. The size of the chips is chosen carefully to ensure proper embedment in the emulsion and provide a uniform and skid-resistant surface. The process of applying the chips involves spreading them evenly over the freshly applied CRS-2P emulsion. This is typically done using a chip spreader, which distributes the chips in a controlled manner to achieve an even coverage. The chips are then rolled or compacted into the emulsion using a roller, ensuring proper adhesion and embedding. ERC chip seal offers several benefits for road preservation. Firstly, it acts as a protective barrier, shielding the underlying pavement from the damaging effects of weather, UV radiation, and traffic. It helps to seal cracks and prevent the intrusion of water, which can lead to further deterioration of the road surface. Additionally, ERC chip seal provides improved skid resistance, enhancing safety for motorists, especially during wet conditions. The aggregate chips create a textured surface that improves tire grip and reduces the risk of hydroplaning. Moreover, ERC chip seal is a cost-effective solution compared to other pavement preservation techniques. It requires less material and labor compared to traditional overlays, making it an attractive option for budget-conscious municipalities and transportation agencies. It is important to note that the success of an ERC chip seal application depends on various factors, including proper surface preparation, appropriate selection of materials, and adherence to specific application guidelines. Regular maintenance, such as sweeping off excess chips and resealing any damaged areas, is also crucial to ensure the longevity of the chip seal. The R1 aggregate chip spreader is a versatile and efficient machine used for tar and chip operations on road surfaces. Designed to be towed behind a vehicle, this aggregate spreader is specifically designed to distribute aggregate materials evenly and accurately. One of the key features of the R1 chip spreader is its ability to achieve precise depths and clean cut edges during the spreading process. This ensures a consistent and professional finish on the road. The machine is equipped with an open-type spiral agitator that effectively conveys the material to the outer ends of the hopper, allowing for smooth and efficient distribution. The R1 chip spreader is available in various widths, ranging from 8 to 12 feet, providing flexibility to suit different road widths and project requirements. Its adjustable width settings make it suitable for a wide range of road maintenance and construction tasks.